Assalamualaikum Welcome back Ok, today we are going to study more about a series and parallel circuit This time we will move to the problem How to solve problem regarding series and parallel circuits Ok, so let's start with the series circuit Ok, so we have 3 resistor R1, R2 and R3 They are in series so, first question, calculate the effective resistance R of the circuit. Since in series, so we have the formula R, R equals to R1 plus R2 plus R3. So, we have 2 plus 4 plus 6 should be equals to 12 ohm. Okay, next, uh, what is the, calculate the current I in the circuit. So, we have used, we use the formula I equals to V over R. Where V is the voltage battery and R is the effective resistance. So we have the answer 6 over 12 equals to 0 0.55 ampere. Now, uh, calculate the potential differ across each resistor V1, V2 and V3. Always remember, we use the formula V1 equals to IR. And this time we ask the question, what is the value for I here and R1, R. So, here refer to R1. So, I equals to this uh, I from the from the battery. So, we have uh, I equals, uh, sorry, v, V1 equals to R1 times I. And V2 equals to I, R2. And V3 equals to I, R3. So, we calculate and we get the answer 0 0.5 times 2, 1 volt. V2 is 0 0.5 times 4. Eh, equal to the resistance here, 4. And V3 equals to 0 0.5 times 6, equals to 3 volt. And when we sum up, we should get 6 volt. Okay. Alright. Okay. So, let's try another question regarding series circuit. Uh, we have 8 ohm resistor and 12 ohm resistor connected with a 12 volt battery. So, first question, what is the potential differ across the 8 ohm resistor and 12 ohm resistor? Okay, so we have 12 volt. So, since the R is not the same, so we cannot divide 12 into 2, 12 divided by 2. So, we have to use the formula. Um, so, in order to calculate the potential difference, so we have to calculate V. V equals to IR. So, R is the 8 ohm or 12 ohm. So, we have to calculate I. So, in order to calculate I, we use the formula V over uh, I equals to V over R. Where V is the voltage battery and R equal to uh, effective resistance. So, we have to find the effective resistance first. So, we have uh, 1 over V over R, 12 over 20. So, how do I get 20? 8 plus 12 equals to 20. 12, you get 0 0.6 ampere. Okay. So, we use the formula V equals to 0 0.6 times 8 equals to 4.8 volt. Right. Okay. Uh, or we can use the formula V equals to 8 over 20 times 12. Uh, 8 is the, uh, is the resistance divided by... 20 is the total resistance. Okay. Okay. Uh, 12 ohm. 12 ohm. Volt voltage for 12 ohm is it? Because here is 12. 12 minus 4.8 and we get 7.2 volt. Okay. Okay. Now we move on to question 4. This time uh, for parallel circuits. So, for parallel circuit, first we have to find the uh, potential differ across each resistor since parallel. So, V, 6 volt. Here should be 6 volt. Uh, this circuit is also 6 volt. And R3 also 6, 6 volt. Now, effective resistance. So, 1 over 2 plus 1 over 4 plus 1 over 6. And we get, uh, take the reciprocal, so 12 divided by 11 is equals to 1.1 ohm. Okay. Now, current, again, I equals to V over R. So, V is 6, R is 1.1 ohm. 
and we get 5.5 ampere. Now calculate I1, I2, I3. So I1, I1 equals to V over R1. So V here is 6, R1 is 2. So we get 6.2 is 3 ampere. I2 here is 6 divided by 4, 1.5 ampere. I3 is 6 divided by 6 is equals to 1 ampere. So sum up we should get uh we should get 5.5 ampere and the okay now question five we have the combination of series and parallel circuit so in order to solve it first of all we have to settle the uh, parallel circuit first and then we uh, combine in the series circuit Okay, uh, first question, what is the reading of emitter A? So, emitter is the big current here. So, we have to find the formula I equals to V over R. V is the battery, 3 volt. And R should be the effective resistance. So, the first thing is you have to find the effective resistance. So, we have 2 here. So, settle down the um, parallel here. So, 1 over 6 plus, plus 1 over 3. And you should get... Uh, 6, uh, no, no, sorry, 1 over 6 here, 1 over 6, we should get 2, so this uh, total resistor here is 2, and then 2 plus 4, you should get 6 ohm, right, uh, oh, not yet, so I equals to V over R, so V is 3 divided by 6, should be I equals to 0 0.5 ampere, now, what is the potential difference across the parallel network? So, here, you can see us here, about here. Okay, in order to do this, we have to know the current flow. The current flow is 0 0.5 ampere. The effective resistance here is just now is 2. So, 0 0.5 times 2 should be 1 volt. Or we can calculate here. So, here is... Uh, uh, 4 times 0 0.5 is 2 volt. So 2 volt, 3 minus 2 is 1, 1 volt. Okay, so we get 1 volt. Now calculate the current flow 6 ohm here. So current flow here, here is 0 0.5. So separate to 6 ohm and 3 ohm. So what we do is I equals to V over R. So V here we calculate just now is 1 volt. Divide by 6, we should get 0 0.17 ampere. Okay. That's it. Okay, uh, now we have a complicated circuit. Let's try to solve the problem. Okay. Uh, the question asks you the reading of the emitter. And uh, here is the uh, total current flow, uh, total big I. So we have to calculate by using the formula V over R. So V is 20 volt. So what is the effective resistor? So this one is easy because same uh, resistance. 8, 8 divided by 2 is 4. 4 plus 8 is 12. Okay. So 12 ohm. And I equals to 12, 20 plus 12 equals to 1.67 ampere. Okay. Question B. Again, we can look at here is 2 ohm, 2 ohm. Okay. Quite easy. Alright, this time the we want to know the value of current here. So what we should do is uh, how to calculate it. So voltage is 4.5 volt. <clears throat> I think the best is we calculate the uh, whatever whatever problem. The best thing is to calculate the effective resistance and the the current flow of the current of the circuit that flow from the battery. Okay, so how in order to do that, we have first calculate the effective resistance. Okay, easy. 2 and 2 divided by 2 is 1 ohm. So here is 1. 8 plus 1 is 9 ohm. So the current should be okay, 9 ohm. So I equals to 4.5 times 5. Uh, sorry, 4.5 divided by 9 ohm. Get 0 0.5 ampere. So the current from the battery is 0 0.5 ampere. So here is 0 0.5 ampere. Now the current now divide by 2 because of here is 2 ohm to ohm. So easy. So we get 0 0.5 divided by 2 equals to 0 0.25 ampere. Okay. Settle. Question 2. Now question 3. Wow. It looks quite challenging because 
Here we have different uh, resistors, 6 ohm and 2 ohm. Again, we do like the second question. Find big I first. Okay, so 8, 6 and 2. Hmm. So we have to calculate here. Yeah, so I get 12 ohm. Okay, you can try. So I get 12 ohm. So I equals to 24 divided by 12 equals to 2 ampere. So the current flow is 2 ampere. And here we don't know. Because you have to divide, uh, separate the two. And then here is also 2 ampere. Hmm. So how to calculate here? Hmm. Use the formula I equals to V over R. R is 6. How, what is the value of V here? Okay, you have to uh, calculate here. So, H, uh, IR. Eh? So, 2 times 8 is 16. So, here is 16 volt. 25 plus, times 2 is 5. So, we get 16 plus 5, 21. So, here we have 3 volt. So, 3 times 6 is, sorry, 3 divided by 6 is 0 0.5. Okay, so V1, 3 volt. That is V1. So, I equals to 3. Yeah, that's correct. 0 0.5 ampere. Okay. Alright, so that's how you solve the problem regarding the series and uh, series and parallel circuits. The main thing is calculate the effector resistance, calculate the uh, big current or the current from the battery, R equals to V over R. Right. Okay, so good luck uh, uh, for your uh, task to uh, answer tutorial 7.3. Okay, see you. Thank you.